I would say there's a deeper spiritual thing that's going on. And there's also a practical thing that we can do in order to uh, aid the process. Um, on the spiritual level, obviously from our Shastras and our Acharyas, we understand that every Jiva is having a certain level of receptivity. Um, sometimes we give the analogy of uh, wet firewood and dry firewood. And when that wood comes in contact with a spark, the dry firewood just sets a light, whereas the wet firewood takes, takes a long time. And so uh, what makes what someone like dry firewood that we understand piety from previous lives, Vaishnav Kripa from previous lives, um, a certain amount of experience in the material world, um, and, and basically, uh, uh, we all understand that we're on an evolution and, and some people are ready at that point where they're looking and they're deeper inside of them, they're searching for something. And therefore, they tend to obviously be more receptive. Um, so I think that's something to some extent. Of course, as preachers, we can take note from that and, and also realize that preaching is not just about giving books out but also about doing other activities which will increase people's spiritual receptivity. If we give out people, give out prashadam, if they have a good interaction with the devotees, then all of these things increase their spiritual credit in order to absorb what's given in the books. So on a spiritual level, we have to look at receptivity. But then I think the other thing is on a practical level, we have to, uh, as devotees, as preachers, as individuals who are trying to inspire others to take up this journey into Prabhupada's books, we have to create systems, um, structures, we have to create resources, and we have to create forums and facilities by which uh, it makes people, it makes it easier for people to immediately access the wisdom. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare.